Shani, welcome back. So I am just sitting down quickly to do my makeup and I got a new product that I wanted to share with you that I cannot find. Oh, here it is. It is the YSL All Hours Precise Angles Concealer. Here we go. I'm excited to try it. I have it in the shade DN1 and I'm going to use it along with my YSL foundation. This is the All Hours Foundation and I really like it and I feel super bougie using YSL. They use it at all. Um, so I'm going to do that. I just put on some face care, skin care, <laughs> face care. I actually, when I was in New York, was convinced to buy some of, uh, some products from Kiehl's. So again, we're just going with the bougie, okay? I don't think I've ever used Kiehl's. Um, but I'm really excited to see how things go. The thing with, um, skincare is like, you don't really know how it is until, you know, for a while, like a couple months or whatever. So I'm excited to see if it turns out to be what I'm looking for or else I'm gonna go right back to that Soho uh, Sephora and tell Miss Ma'am it didn't work. But I feel like my skin is looking pretty good and I like just started using it. Okay. Whew. Does this happen to anyone else? Like, after I come back from traveling, like, I'm exhausted and I don't feel well. Like, I just feel a little under the weather. That is where I am right now. So, yeah, it's sort of annoying. Does that happen to anyone else? I feel like it's happened as I've gotten a little older. Um, I don't remember this happening when I traveled. When I was younger, girl. Ooh. I do not recall that. So I ended up getting this concealer. I As soon as I saw that it was coming out, I was super excited because I really like the foundation. And I was super surprised that I liked it. I can't even remember why I decided to buy it. And I just wanted to try a new foundation. Um... And I ended up really, really liking it. And the shade I wear in the, con or I'm sorry, the foundation is DN7. And what I can appreciate is there is a little expiration date on the bottom. And it says May 24th. I mean, May 2024. <laughs> You're like, May 24th, girl, that done passed. I probably have a couple of little news stories I can talk with you about. Cause that's why you're here, isn't it? I know. So first of all, everyone is doing like fall looks. So I figured I would jump on the bandwagon and I'm going to either use the Nomad Okavango Safari palette. I feel like it's very like fall inspired or, or maybe and, the Nomad Hudson Valley palette. Now, if you've been here a while, uh, this is the first palette I purchased from Nomad. Um, and I purchased it after watching a video that Jan did. And this is like our meet cute palette. Like, this is when I was like, oh my god, her eyeshadow is amazing. I need to know this woman. So that was how we met. <laughs> okay, um, so let's go ahead and I've actually been enjoying the Pat McGrath, um, intensifies longwear primer the newer eyeshadow primer that she came out with so let's just stick with that today it is clear so there's no pigment to it like even when you put it on your eye there's nothing nothing that I can see at least um so there is that and let's start with an eye look and let's start with a story <sighs> Now this one, I don't even know how to tell you this one. Like, um, this one is one that Tracy sent me, um, and it made me incredibly angry. Very incredibly angry. I was like, I can't believe you sent this to me, and now I have to tell everyone about it. So, let's see. Let's figure out. I kind of have on a fall kind of outfit, right? 
It's another romper. Did I tell you all? I have so many rompers. Like, it's ridiculous. These look like they would go together, right? Let's start with... Well, let's start with a dark color. This is Oktoberfest. So, Tracy sent me something, and it was from the show My Strange Addiction. Now, I've never watched it. I'm sure people have watched it. I've, I've never really watched the show. Um, I'm not sure why. It could be just, you know, I work with people with addictions. And, you know, like, I don't know. Like, I just want to let people live. If you want to be on TV talking about your addiction, go ahead. Go for it, girl. And I knew that... It, it was strange, right? It was strange stuff. So this one, I like, I think it was a video that Tracy sent me first. And I thought it was a joke. I thought it was a joke. Because I was like, this is crazy, girl. Where you get this from? I thought it was a joke. And it's not. So the person, their nickname is Tuna Tyler. Now, Mr. Tyler is a black man who lives in Kansas. All right, lives in Kansas. I've gotten lost there as well, you know, um, when I was in grad school. He lives in Kansas, and he loves tuna. Nothing wrong with that, right? Tyler loves tuna. That should be, like, the name of a children's book. But wait. Mr. Tyler loves tuna so much that he eats and drinks nearly 15 cans, nearly 15 cans of tuna a week. And um, he even wears the tuna juice as his cologne. So the first video I see is there's a young woman waiting in a bar. You can tell it's like a date that's set up, right? And in comes Tyler, super nice. They like shake hands and stuff. He sits down, they start talking, and he like, he whips out a can of tuna from his pocket as well as an old school um, can opener. And homegirl, her face is like mine, like, what you doing? <laughs> and he's like, oh, I just, you know, I hope this doesn't bother you. He proceeds to open the can of tuna and digs his, his hands in and starts eating it. Tuna juice dripping all down his arm. And he likes that, girl. He is just, ooh, he loves it. And he also starts to drink... He drinks the, the tuna juice. And homegirl is like, it, uh, is this a joke? Like, what's happening? And he's like, no, this is just, I really love tuna. And yeah, um, if we're going to date, like, you just, you need to know the things about me. And she's like, sir, deuces okay deuces sir and she was like i thought you smelled a little fishy and she said that you know maybe maybe your tuna thing is keeping you from from dating you know like listen everybody should do anything that they want to and if this man came into my office and said that he had a tuna addiction then we would work on it okay but the thing about Tuna Tyler is that he seems to sort of like get off on like surprising people or like putting them off with his tuna tango, you know? Like it just seems like he's obsessed with, with it's almost like he likes to make people uncomfortable. I'm going to go into Okavango Safari and I'm going to use Elusive Leopards. It's like he likes making people uncomfortable and like he knows it. Now the people that I have encountered with addictions often want to sort of like get some help, manage some things in a different way. It might be um, you know, having an effect on their life in some way, on their family. So they, they just kind of want to figure out a way. But Tuna Tyler, he's like living for the like sensationalism of it. And his mama, his mama is named Ursula. <sighs> if only 
Tuna Tyler was named Poseidon or something. His mom is named Ursula and she's like, he's like fish since he was younger. Like we, instead of like gifts and stuff in his Christmas stockings, we would put like fish toys and like cans of tuna. Ursula, Ursula. Ursula, why? Okay, here's the I want to go in with Fall Festival. I want that orange to just pop a little bit more. Okay, Ursula and Tuna Tyler. All right, okay. But the thing is, Tyler hasn't been, like, as obsessed with uh, Tuna until, like, five years ago. So if he came into my office, we would talk about what exactly happened five years ago. Um, but, I'm, but Tuna Tyler doesn't want to change, so he wouldn't come to therapy. Anyway. He said, and I quote, I love smelling tuna every day. All the time, all night, and day, every day. There's a picture of this man drinking, drinking the tuna, drinking the tuna juice. Um... So his favorites, I mean, in case you want to join in on the fun, are the Chunk Light and Yellow Fin. He does not like albacore. He says that all tuna is not created equal, okay? Basically, he always keeps a can of tuna with him. And he says it's, it's an addiction to smelling like tuna. Oh, no. I just, like, maybe there's a fragrance that would do that for him just like notes of fish you know like I don't know like an undertone of albacore no he doesn't like albacore yellowfin just I don't know girl but I'm upset with Tyler I don't even know why it just makes me angry that he's out here doing this because it seems like he's doing it for show it doesn't seem and like by all means, I am not the oracle on working with addictions, but it seems more for show and like sensationalism and what's the word I'm looking for? I don't even know. It doesn't seem like he wants to change it. He just like, he, he, he. And Tyler, you in Kansas, you a black man in Kansas, girl. I cannot. I cannot, Tuna Tyler. I cannot. He, it, it seems like a joke. It seems just like... I, did, mm. Girl, how are you going to work? Like, there's no way. They're going to, like... Again, do you, right? But I guarantee, like, most jobs are going to be like, um, TT, Tuna Tyler, we got to do something about this, sir. We got to do something about this. Let me know what you think about Tuna Tyler. Let me know. Maybe I'm, I'm lacking some insight into, into this difficulty that he has. Um, I'm going to go in with Roaring Lions from the, the Okavango Safari palette. We need to move on from Tuna Tyler because he makes me irrationally upset. I'm not sure why. I'll process it in therapy today at three. I'm just, I can't, okay? I can't. I cannot. I will not. I won't. I'm not going to. Nope. Okay, let me tell you about, there's two stories that I read about these weddings. Now, the first one, this woman is telling this story and she's trying to figure out what to do. She is about to get married and so she's going to buy her dress and everything, right? Her wedding dress. So her mom is coming along, one of her friends, like her best friend is coming along. And so she decides to also invite her fiance's mother, her soon to be mother-in-law. And she was like, we have an okay relationship. You know, we're not besties, but we get along all right. That's the first hint that, okay, son, son, my bad. 
<laughs> she said, we get along all right, you know? And so she goes, she finds a dress. She's super excited about it, as one should be, right? Um, super excited about it. And this is the shade that gets hard pan. Um, so always have like a spatula or tape or something ready. Um, so she finds, she finds the dress, the dress. She finds her wedding dress. So she's about to get the dress and the mother-in-law, soon to be mother-in-law is, is like, you know, I liked this other dress better. And the woman is like, oh, you know, I appreciate that, but it's just like not my style. Like she thinks the dress is fine, but it's just, it's not her style, right? And honey, if she wants to wear a white bikini coming down the aisle, it's her wedding. It's her and her fiance's wedding. Let her do what she wants to do. So she's like, you know, thank you for your input. I'm just gonna go ahead and I get this one because I really like it. It's my wedding. And so she goes and buys the dress little uh, mother-in-law is real butt hurt about it because I don't know why. Um, she ain't paying for it, so I don't understand. So they get home and her fiance comes in and he's just like roaring mad because his mama called him and told him that his soon-to-be wife had the nerve to not get the dress that his mama wanted her to get. That's what she done did, so so it's already a problem. You done went and told your, your, your son, that's about to be my husband, something, something ain't right with this. And, okay, I told you he was mad, right? Guess who he's mad at? He's mad at his soon-to-be wife. He's not mad at his mama. He's not mad at his mama. He's mad at his betrothed. I'm going to leave the eyes for a second and start on the face. And I'm going to use my Vanessa Myricks Yummy Skin Balm. This is the universal one. So we're gonna use that. So I'm not giving you the finger. <laughs> I just realized I have eyeshadow on my finger. Okay, so you know, I was thinking, oh, he's going to be mad at his mama talking about she didn't buy the dress that I liked on her. Not that I'm paying any money for it, but whatevs. So he comes in and he's telling homegirl, why didn't you just buy the dress my mother wants you to wear? And she's like, because uh, I didn't like it. I found the dress that I like. And she's like, it's not that the dress is not cute. It's just not her style. Not that she has to explain anything, okay? Especially if she's using her money to buy her dress right so he's like I can't believe you would do it you could just wear it for my mom and she's trying to figure out like am I being ridiculous like am I am I doing too much and I'm like the nerve of you to even ask that like this is your wedding baby and so I need you to go ahead and do what you want to do on your wedding day okay so here is the foundation I'm finding a brush I really have been enjoying my Rose and Ben brushes this is the foundation br brush C42 so shake this up a little bit okay so she's like you know I, like I don't know what to tell you like <laughs> the, the dress I'm gonna get Cause she had already bought it. She had it up in the closet and the bag and everything. She already bought the dress. So the next day or whenever, like she comes home and she goes to like, look at her dress. You know, you just go and look at it. Um, it's a different dress. It's the dress that her mother-in-law wants her to wear. So she's like, boo thang, what's happening? Girl. He went into her closet. He took her dress, the dress that she had bought, and he returned it. He returned it. And he got the dress that his mama wanted her to wear. When I, t like, that would have been, we not having a wedding. Go marry your mama and put her in that dress. I... Girl. <laughs> I don't even I would have like what what 
and she's upset and he's like why are you upset you're being such a like ass about it and i i just t girl i'm gonna need you and your mama to go to therapy and I need you to go to a psychoanalyst that has been personally trained by Dr. Freud, Sigmund Freud, okay? Because he's going to talk to you about the Oedipal complex and all kinds of stuff because something ain't right, something ain't right. So I hope little mama go, went ahead and got out of this relationship. I don't know. I don't know her, but I know she bet not marry that man in his mama wedding dress. Give it to her. She, she can marry him because it seems like that's what she wants to happen. Girl, when I tell you, I was like, this is a joke. <laughs> this is a joke. This is a joke right here. There's no way. There's absolutely, positively no way that this happened. What would you do? Because I... Mm, Like, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Like, we wouldn't get be getting married. I can tell you that much. No, we definitely wouldn't be getting married. I wonder what the wedding dress people, I wonder what they thought when he came in there and was like, hey, I just want to exchange this. Okay, they're probably like, let's go ahead and cancel everything because this wedding is not going to happen. Okay, so let's go in with the concealer. Just twist the top. Okay, you've got, this is the bottle. This is the doe foot. It's like a large one, right? Okay, I'm going to put some here. And here is, okay, this feels thick. I don't even know if I want to wait to blend it because it feels like it'll dry down really fast. I don't know why I'm just getting, getting that sense because usually I let my concealer sit for a little bit, but this just feels like, don't let it sit girl, you got to work fast. Or maybe I'll let it sit just a little bit. Put some here. Okay, so the doe foot has sort of like a point to it. Do you see that? Hopefully you can see it. But I'm thinking that would be good to get like into the corner there. Yeah, this is a thick concealer. It feels even thicker than like shape tape. And I think a lot of people feel like that is thick. But to me, shape tape is a bit more emollient and like movable but let's go ahead and start blending it out i've started using like a puff to blend things i don't know why i just do um i feel like it's blending really well yeah i feel like that blended really well I feel like sometimes when things are a bit more expensive, you kind of hope that they that you don't like them. Because then, you know, you don't have to worry about repurchasing. But, um, I am liking this. So this is a first impression. I will definitely do a video, like, updating you on what I think about it. Like, so far, I, like... Um, I'm loving it. Because let me tell you the last wedding story. <sighs> so this woman is, she's out here, you know, celebrating. I think it's like the day before she and her girls are like in their little suite. You know, we about to wake up in the morning and get married or whatever. And she's feeling real, real good. And then she looks at her phone. I want to see something. I feel like this, like it's so movable. 
I'm more, I'm wondering if it will break at some point. Like, it just feels like it could, you know? Well, I'm gonna be real mad. This ain't a cheap concealer. I'm gonna be real mad if it does. So she's about to go to bed because it's the night before her wedding. She got to go to bed and so she can look cute, right? And she looks at her phone and it's like a text message. Everybody is like watching and her face just changes. So this text message she got, like she has to make a decision. Is she going to get married tomorrow or is she not? So she wakes up in the morning and she's like, I'm, I'm going to do it, okay? I love this man. We about to get married. I'm not going to worry about it. And she tells her friends her decision. <sighs> um, Y'all, I'm trying to use up this hourglass powder. I actually had it in my declutter bin. But I'm like, you know what? Let me, let me just try to use it. So I'm going to see about using it as... Um, a powder for my concealer. Let's see how that goes. So, Bestie gets up and she's like, I'm going to have this wedding. I've been planning it. It's the day of let us go forth and wed. So, they get to the wedding. She walks down the aisle. Beautiful, right? And they get to the vows. I have to consult my notes. <laughs> <laughs> and she is the level of petty I aspire to be. Okay? Like, she's aspirational. She's aspirational. Let me tell you what homegirl did. At time for the vows... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and like brush that out a little bit. Time for the vows. Miss Alex is like, there will be no wedding today, y'all. <laughs> Cause it, oh no, Alex is the man. It seems Alex is not who I thought he is. So what she does is that, you know, she thought initially the, the text message was going to be like, congratulations, or something like that, all right. But no girl, it was not. It was screenshots of text between her fiance and another woman. So she decided. That she was going to be the petty bitch that I want to be. And instead of saying her vows, girl, she read the text messages. The cheating asses text messages between the, the cheating ass and this woman that he was cheating with. Girl, she read the text messages to the whole, the whole, the whole wedding party and the guests or by the the preacher the minister that's marrying them. she read them all and some of the texts were like your body is effing incredible and do you know how to use it i wish my girlfriend had half the skills you do i've never had this kind of connection before <clears throat> this weekend you and i it is on hot stuff bring your a game Girl, when I tell you she read him and read them, I girl, what would you do? Like, oh, everybody mouth was hanging open. Everybody mouth was hanging open, and Mama read read them all out. In front of him, in front of his friends, in front of his family. Girl, and he walked out the church. 
Because he, he walked out the church. Okay, you could do all this, sir, behind her back. But you can't, like, stand up and, and like, be an adult and be like, girl, I effed up. No, he and his friends walked out. And she said, I'm sorry, y'all. So it's not going to be no reception, but it's going to be a party. We're going to celebrate honesty and love and light and all this good stuff. So everybody came to the party except for Alex, two of his friends, and um, yeah, everyone except Alex and two of his friends and brother didn't come to the party girl but everybody else was like <laughs> we about to dance girl because first of all you're the pettiest of the petty and second of all this man is trash and we about to celebrate because you deserve someone who is going to love you and be honest with you and even if there's something that happens that goes on it's just going to be honest with you and tell you babe i done did some stuff girl and like we might need to talk about it a little bit I know. I don't know what happened after that, but little Casey or whatever her name is, she was not playing with y'all. She was not playing with y'all at all. She wasn't playing. Can you imagine if she was going to marry this man and didn't know? I want to know who it was that sent her them messages because I feel like, like it had to be one of his friends, right? Because you know how people are. You know how they are. We be taking screenshots and stuff and sending it to our friends. Like, <laughs> look what he said. I, that's the only thing I can think is that it was one of his friends. And to you, sir, kudos. Because you, you, something happened at the ninth, 10th, 11th hour, right? Something happened. Maybe you talked to your pastor or your therapist or something and you were like, you know what? I can't let this lady go ahead and marry this dude because he real shady. Because the other thing is, all of, only two of his friends didn't go to the party. I think one of them friends that went to the party was the one who sent that message to homegirl. And I would be so appreciative. Like, thank you. Like, you could have told me a little bit earlier. But thank you, boo. I'm also going to go ahead and with the Huda Beauty One Coat Wow Mascara. I bought this also on my little trip. I have to hurry up because I don't know what my hair looks like under here. Very pink. Pink packaging, of course. It's a very, like, like it's a thick wand. It's supposed to be one coat, so what if I do two? What's going to happen? Okay, girl. Dang. So let me know what you think about these stories. We got Tuna Tyler. Then we got Wedding Dress Wendy. And then we got Petty Pamela. What y'all think? Oh. Because I read these things, especially the wedding ones. I read those and my mouth hung open. Open. And I am grateful. I'm grateful that these women didn't marry these men. Hopefully, wedding dress Wendy didn't, didn't marry that man. Because something ain't right right there. Like, that's real disrespectful to your betrothed to be like, I returned your dress. I know you didn't. I know you did not. The only way I want you to return is if you return it and pay for it. You know what I mean? And bring it back home. But I know. I know you didn't return it and get the dress that your mama want me to wear. I, no, I know you didn't do that because you wouldn't. You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. I know you, I know you didn't do it, okay? It was somebody else. It was your twin. It was your twin. I understand. Sometimes siblings be getting us in trouble. And th this, this is like when 
this is how you know people don't have friends or they don't like consult them friend their friends because if my friend came to me and was like, yeah, I'm going to just return her dress, I would be like, are you trying to get shot? Like, are you trying? Because that's what it's giving me right now. Okay, y'all, for my friends, Nikki, Jan, Dawn, and Will, I'm going to attempt to put on some highlighter, okay? I'm gonna try. I tried the last time and we all were upset with the level of failure that I achieved. So I'm going to use this blush light called Shadow Play from Melt Cosmetics. I'm gonna get a brush and get this Wayne Goss brush. I'm not okay with it. I'm nervous, but I'm going to do it because I am up for a challenge. And I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like that one. That shade is a little too icy. I don't like it. Okay, so let's try the Pat McGrath Divine Rose Highlighter. Okay, I feel I feel better about this one. She also, oh, maybe this one will go better. She also has this one, which is the Golden Nectar. I'm actually surprised at how, when did I buy this? Okay, I like that one a little better. Is that where I'm supposed to put it, y'all? Like right here? I gotta say, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it, y'all. Oh, my package is here. Dang, y'all. Yes. I don't like it. I'm gonna go in with the NARS um, Soft Matte Powder and just set everything. Throw on a lip and call it a day. So here is the finished look um, using the YSL concealer for the first time. So far I really like it. This might be my new favorite. I'm excited to see how it wears. I went ahead and put on Velvet Morning from Lisa Eldridge and just used a new liner from LA Girl that I'm also really liking. Um, I hope y'all see there's a little bit of highlighter on. I'm gonna try to let me I'm gonna I'm gonna try to supposed to put it I'm not into highlighter like that that's all. listen Jan Dawn Nikki and Will this all I got okay this all I got um oh girl I gotta get downstairs um what was I gonna say yeah so hopefully some of this was helpful I also hope that you are continuing to take care of yourself be sure to let me know in the comments what you think about these stories okay please do tuna Tyler wedding dress Wendy and petty Pamela also please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time <music>